Guys, last week was the Track and Field World Championships. That means if you are a world champion for a whole year, you have the event in your hand. The whole world Welcome to the Pole Vault Vlog. We talk everything a pole vault hang. This last week was World Championships, so we're just gonna talk about the World Championships today and review a couple videos. But first, do you guys need track and field equipment that will help you get to the World Championships and be a world-class performer? And buy their stuff. Also, I just heard that their codes expired in August, and I was like, hey guys, what's up with that? There's people trying to use these codes. Oh, my bad. Now they extended them for three years. You know what else they have at VS Athletics? Rock back pole vault bags. If you want to get to the World Championships, you need to have a bag for your poles. That's just common sense. They can fit one to 12 Poles, they make a great gift. And or fashion accessory for when school starts. I mean, you're gonna look pretty cool walking to class with a pole bag on your shoulder or slung around your body hanging off your hip. Guys, if you wanna follow me on social media, all my social media is Sean Danger Hoot because danger is my, mi it's not really my middle name, but I, I think it's fun. Also, and last but not least, if you wanna be a part of Team Hoot, just go to team-hoot.com in the upper right-hand corner. Look, I'm getting smarter of where to point. You just click join Team Hoot, and you're a part of the team. It'll be bananas. I know you guys are excited about who won and got the medals. I'll tell you first, but I'm gonna tell you some really other, some other cool stuff that I found. On the women's side, Venezuelan got a national record for bronze place. Rabilis Pernando, I don't know if I said the name right. Yurli Silva, which, fun fact, I jumped on the same team as Yurli. Back at the Drake Relays Mall Vault a few years ago. I didn't jump well and we lost. <laughs> Sandy Morris takes second. And Yekaterina Stefaniti wins and is the world champion. cool things that happened. Two Canadians made it to the finals. I can't remember the last time that happened. Holly Bradshaw looked like she was wearing flats the entire time. Eliza McCarthy is the happiest pole vaulter I have ever seen and if I was still pole vaulting I would strive to be that happy whether I make or miss. Holy cow. You just can't help but like that girl. And last but not least, Stephanie and Sandy Morris got the same place they did at the Olympics. The hardest thing is to get the peak of the Olympics and then hold that momentum forward. And Stephanie has been on fire! She is the Sergei Bubka, Renault Lavillani, the Sam Kendricks. She is the Muhammad Ali of the women's pole vault right now. She is. Katarina Stefaniti. On the guy's side, we got Renault Lavillani takes third place, and he seemed very happy about that. I will talk about this in a minute. Lysak takes second place, and Sam Kendricks, with a perfect scorecard up until 595, is world I think he has a perfect season. He hasn't lost all season. Renault gets third place. He has been injured all season. He was struggling as the outdoor season started and he still comes out and manages third place. That's how good he is. And you can tell he's had a frustrating season because he was smiling and he never smiles unless he wins. <laughs> you know, like it was kind of a tough season for him. So that's really fun to watch. And the other favorite thing that I saw with the, with the men's pole vault, my favorite thing personally, it's very subjective, is that there were so many young people. Emmanuel Corrales from Greece who made it to the world championships. He's about as old as Mondo, maybe just a smidgen older. Chris Nelson of the USA, freshman in college, and the great Mondo Duplantis. Mondo not only made it to the world championships, but he made the final. He's 17, he is the youngest pole vaulter to ever be in the world championships pole vault, and now the youngest to be in the final. Holy cow. And besides good friend of mine winning the world championships, I think one of my favorite things is Sean Barber going over the bar, crazy. And this is a good reminder for everybody watching these is that Yes, he looked out of control and a little crazy, but the bar stayed up. And that's all that matters in this event, is if the bar stays up and you go over it, it's all good. Congratulations to everybody, but Kendricks and Stefaniti are champion of the world! 
Guys, before we review these videos this week, I would like to say last week I got a lot of comments and emails about how I need to be reviewing these better and I'm not doing a good job. Well, I saw this and I, I get that. The, the pole vault is like politics and religion. Everyone has an opinion and everyone's is different. And I try to keep it super, super simple because I can't see you try and make these changes. And if I tell you to do something and you get hurt, it makes me look bad. If I'm coaching you in person, it's a little bit different. I don't think anybody else right now is coaching via internet vlog one video and it's a whole different type of coaching. I just I just want to explain why. I don't talk about the run a lot. I don't talk about holding the pole a lot. I don't talk about all this other stuff. I talk I talk about the one or two or three things that's going to have the most bang for your buck when I can't watch you practice it. So let's review these videos. All right, the first video is from, what is your name, sir? Jake. Jake, welcome to the pole vault vlog. Your vault is gorgeous. I think you're just ready for more. More pole, more grip. That'll force you to throw things harder and then put more energy into the system which will essentially get you to jump higher. I love it, man. The only little thing in this vault that I see is right here we make contact and then we lose it. Once those hands hit those quads, keep them there. Other than that, man, it's such a gorgeous jump. I concur. Great jump, sir. All right, this next jump is Corey. She is a junior. This is at 12-2. Holy macaroni and cheese. You are strong and powerful. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I told her two things. Instead of having that plant come straight down and straight up, let's have it come straight down and forward and up. Because if we think about it, we want all the energy moving forward. Because forward energy is powerful energy, right? If I just drop a ball in front of a door, it's not gonna hit the door or even open it. But if I roll a ball into a door, jump the ball so little. But I'm talking about a big ball, like a bowling ball, okay? So you roll a bowling ball into a door, everything's going forward, the door is gonna open up unless it's locked. Guys, quit arguing with me here. That's just how it works. So if we think about moving our arms up and forward, we're essentially creating energy in a bowling ball to move the bar forward. So I said, try that first. And then part two would be, she rolls the pole out to the left so well. You can see it right there. Let's watch it again. Boom, pole rolls out. She is, arms are up and she is pushing that thing out to the left. But if you watch what happens, then the pole stops moving forward. It kind of stalls. Right, it's not going forward anymore. So when you do that, I think when, when you push forward, you want both arms going forward up towards the crossbar. Put one hand on each side of that gill sticker. Okay, not this. Then the pole stops rolling forward. Does that make some sense? I think if you do those two things, because if we move, plant forward and then move our arms forward while the pole's opening, go oh God. Your jump is gonna be, it's already awesomely scary in a good way, but it's gonna be terrifyingly scary. Good jump. One more. All right, this is, let's see, who are you? Riley. Welcome to Pull Up Vlog, Riley. I'm happy you're here. Great jump. So kind of the same idea as the last one. We wanna plan up and forward. And then instead of, once we hit it, instead of just like, yanking down on the pole, move it forward. Arms going up and forward, create space. Space is good, levers are a good thing in the pole vault and physics, right? That's why we coach it, that, or that's why I coach it that way. There's a lot of ways to coach this event. Um, and then part two is the invert. I sent him this video right there uh, about how to invert. Because if you keep pushing down on the pole like you're rowing like a boat, uh, you're never gonna get upside down. So is what you need to do is we need to pull that left arm in so we can get upside down. And then that pole's gonna get small. I can almost predict it. Well, I'm gonna predict it. You let me know what happens. Sick jumps, guys. Thanks for sending videos. Guys, that's it for the pole up vlog this week. Short and sweet world championships recap. If you guys wanna send a video, I just reset the free ones. Uh, on my website, team shootcom slash gear. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next pull vault vlog down in the comments below. I want to make videos that you want to watch. That's what it comes down to. Guys, there's more than one way to pull vault. Find what works best for you. If you like what I say, try it. And if it works, cool. If it doesn't, 
try something else. That's kind of how the sport works, and that's kind of how life works, too. Life is meant to be experienced, and curiosity will get you there. See you next week.